Good evening. I'm Tiffany Slaughter, the principal of Crater School of Business, Innovation, and Science. It's my honor to welcome the community to the 68th Crater Commencement Ceremony. Tonight, we honor our seniors. We honor them for all they've accomplished and for all they will achieve in the future. These seniors of Crater and those around the world have sacrificed much this spring as they've given up dances, their athletics, activities, awards banquets, some their employment, and now a graduation ceremony that in all prior years has been done on this field behind me among friends and family. We honor our seniors by acknowledging all your sacrifice as you've never complained nor asked why us. You've simply done what was asked in order to protect your loved ones, your friends, your family, your community. Many graduation speeches are written to give advice to seniors, young people who are headed out into the world to make lives of their own. But tonight, we simply want to say thank you. Thank you for doing what was necessary for your community in a time when your community needed you. For the class of 2020, you are already legendary. For the rest of your lives, you will share a bond with other seniors across the globe who have also sacrificed much to put others first. After tonight, you will take control of your own futures. As you move forward, life will continually present its challenges, just as it did that spring of your senior year. And you will again have to make choices how to respond. Often in these occurrences, the only thing you have control over is your response. Class of 2020, you've persevered and you've taught the entire world a lesson in humility and humanity. Tonight, we take this time to say congratulations, and most of all, thank you. And now to introduce the superintendent of District 6 Schools, Samantha Steele, who will introduce our valedictorians. Good evening. It's an honor to be here tonight to recognize the amazing class of 2020. And it's a particular honor to introduce your valedictorians. It's my pleasure to introduce Biz valedictorian Kayla Tartaglio. Kayla is the daughter of Matt and Christina Tartaglio, and she has a weighted GPA of 4.07. Her AP and college prep courses include AP Statistics, AP Calculus, AP Psychology, Pre-Calculus, Spanish 3-4, Honors English, and Speech and Debate. Kayla has earned many honors and awards. The highlights include Rotary Student of the Month, Pear Blossom Princess, Crater Speech and Debate Team Captain, Biz Leads Award, Raise the Bar Work Ethic Award, Top 5% and Honor Roll for four years. Kayla is planning to attend the University of Oregon Honors College in the 3 plus 3 program. She plans to major in Spanish and English, then attend the U of O Law School and pursue a career as an immigration lawyer. Kayla Tartaglio. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Dr. Seuss. Memories are what make up a person. You and I wouldn't be who we are today without them. Over the past four years, we have heard a numerous amount of lectures, taken hundreds of pages of notes, and completed more exams than many of us can remember. Although, these are not the things we're going to remember years from now. Years from now, we are all going to remember the countless friendships that were gained and lost. Years from now, we are going to remember Friday night football games, being on this very field or up in the stands. Years from now, we are going to remember the first stepping stones of our lifelong journey. Not only have the last four years been filled with memories, but they have been filled with the constant determination to get you to this moment. This moment is validation that you can achieve your goals no matter the circumstance. Whether those goals are to be the first person in your family to graduate, to be accepted in college, or opening the doors to take your next steps in life. Every decision you make after today will become one of many pages in your book 
of memories. Graduation is just the ending to a chapter in your book. It is not the last page. Years from now, when you're looking back in your book of memories, you must not cry because it ended. You have to smile because it happened. Years from now, I hope to have the opportunity and privilege to see what my fellow classmates write in their memory books after graduation day. Years from now, when I look in my own book of memories, I'll remember the caring nature of my parents, the constant push of my friends, and my class of 2020. Like many of your own, my parents are in every single page of my memory book. Not only were they the ones who raised me and gave me every opportunity to stand on this stage today, they also provided me with constant love and support. My mom was a first generation college student. She had three kids, including myself, while she was in college to get a degree in nursing. My mom worked the extra hours and pushed the extra mile to be a mother, a wife, and a college student all at the same time. My mom has been the motivation I needed to become the person I am today. My dad never went to college, yet he's an incredibly successful man. His success is self-made. Over the past four years, I have found myself with the same determination and drive of both of my parents. They have supported me through every decision I have made during the past four years of my life, no matter what the result may have been. I also want to thank both my sisters for allowing me to have a daily dose of laughter. They are the very core of my book of memories. Years from now, when I look back at my book of memories, I will see someone who constantly pushed me every step of the way. I will see someone who cheered me on even when I was ready to give up. Years from now, when I look back at my book of memories, I will see someone who helped me pass chemistry class and many of my other classes with an A during my junior year of high school. I will see someone who I could not be standing here without, Tommy V. Hill. Those of you who know me may have thought that school was easy for me. You may have thought that the hard work and dedication that it had taken for every one of us to stand here today came easily to me, but it did not. I would not, by any means, be standing on this stage without the support and math genius of my very best friend, Tommy. Thank you for being by my side through the past three years and allowing me to blossom into the person I am today. My class of 2020 will forever be in my book of memories. I am incredibly honored to be the biz valedictorian of the class of 2020. Every student who has attended Crater High had the privilege and opportunity to walk across this stage. The difference between our class and those who came before us are strength and grit. It takes an incredible amount of strength to keep a smile on your face while you wait to find out if your big day is going to be canceled. It takes an incredible amount of strength to stand in the face of the unknown. And it takes true grit to adapt to the changes that had to be made this past year. We, as the class of 2020, will always remember the circumstances in which we graduated in. We will always remember not being able to walk across this stage together. But at least the whole world's talking about us. That was supposed to be humorous, but since I don't hear any laughter, I'll just move on. Not only are my peers who are graduating today a part of my class of 2020, so are my teachers. I am grateful for every single biz teacher for pushing me past my limits within the educational world. I want to thank Mr. Lohman. He helped me push myself, but also taught me that push and constant stress will not make life what I truly want it to be. I also want to thank Ms. Sprayer, a woman who never gave up on me. Within my first few years of taking Spanish, I struggled. And instead of leaving me behind, Ms. Springer mentored me every step of the way. Finally, I want to thank Ms. Sullivan. I have been a student of hers for the past three years, and in that time, she has developed me into the dedicated public speaker I am today. She constantly put new challenges in front of me that would further result in my growth as a leader and young adult. Every single one of these individuals are a part of my class of 2020 and will forever be in my book of memories. 
I want to thank all of you for being a part of my chapter. And even though it's come to an end, I won't cry because it's over. I'll smile because it happened. It's my pleasure to introduce Renaissance valedictorian Joseph Benton. Joseph is the son of Christina and Joseph Benton. He has a weighted GPA of 4.04, .04, and his AP and college prep courses include AP Statistics, Writing 121, English 104, Scholarship 101, Public Speaking, Environmental Science, and Career Guidance. Joseph has earned many honors and awards. The highlights include Student of the Season and Teacher's Choice Awards. Joseph is planning to attend Rogue Community College and then the Oregon Institute of Technology, where he will study mechanical engineering. Joseph Benton. The class of 2020 finally gets to graduate in the most weird and unexpected way, online and on the news. This shouldn't bring any of us down, though, as we're all still able to have this event. Um, it shows immense dedication and problem solving. Those are two essential skills for success. To everybody, success means something slightly different, and it comes in a variety of forms, ranging from this graduation to even just getting out of bed. We all struggle with different things, and whether that be problems at home, at work, or just in our heads, it's important to not let them become permanent roadblocks on the path to whatever success you're trying to achieve. If something isn't working, make little changes, work around it, and you'll so soon find that this huge problem was just a tiny obstacle. Balancing school, work, sleep, chores, and everything else in life is a struggle that we will all need over to overcome. In my eyes, that is the main challenge that the whole world faces, the great balancing act. Happiness is a big aspect of that act. How, do you, how does somebody do what makes them happy and please others at the same time? The truth is that you can't always please everyone and you won't always be happy, but the most we can do is try and that's what's gotten us here today. I know the class of 2020 has fought hard for this amongst many other things and we've overcome the odds. I'd like to thank all of our family, friends, and staff who have helped us in this journey as we strive to reach our dreams. I'd also like to give ourselves a hand as it really comes down to our own dedication and determination to be successful. We have all stayed strong through this COVID-19 outbreak, and I hope we continue to have the same strength and fight in us for years and years as we go on through this emotional roller coaster called life. Congratulations, class of 2020, we made it. It's my pleasure to introduce Renaissance valedictorian Tristan Dawson. Tristan is the daughter of Desiree and Michael Dawson. She has a weighted GPA of 4.04, and her AP and college prep courses include AP Literature, AP Language, AP Statistics, Writing 121, English 104, and English 105. Tristan has earned many honors and awards. The highlights include Student of the Year, English Student of the Year, AP Lit Student of the Year. Tristan is planning to attend Oregon State University where she will study biology and marine biology and pursue a career as a marine biologist for a nonprofit. Tristan Dawson. Never once, at least up until the beginning of our senior year, did I think, man, I could actually be valedictorian. I worked hard because working hard is what I knew would get me to college and would push me towards a better life. By putting in hard work, I am now co-valedictorian of Crater Renaissance Academy, which is a great honor, but it's also a bit terrifying. 
On a typical Wednesday evening, I'm usually reading in bed, not delivering a speech on live TV. Getting here was hard work, but I also know there are a lot of people who work just as hard as I did or harder. There are a lot of people who would have written a much better speech, but here I am. I've pushed myself outside of my comfort zone by becoming a leader, a tutor, a blood donor, and even by simply becoming a friend. And I know that others have done the same. Every single person who has graduated this year earned it, especially because of the recent pandemic. Each and every one of you is absolutely amazing because not only did you graduate from school, we all learned a lot about ourselves along the way. I, for one, learned that nothing comes easy. It is difficult to get to where you want to be and to learn acceptance for yourself and others. I constantly work to improve myself in my writing, turning in good college applications, and keeping A's in all my classes. Now we get to go on to better things, whether that be college or a new job or anything you plan on doing, I hope it's amazing. I hope you look back one day and you think about high school with your favorite teachers and your best friends with hope and love. There is no place quite like Crater. And although most of us did not get the graduation we expected, in the end, at least we can say we graduated like no other class has before us. But I have to say, I never would have gotten here without the support of some of the best people in my life, and my family is at the top of the list. My parents have always pushed me to do my best. I will always remember sitting at the kitchen table when I was little while my dad tried to help me with math that neither of us understood, or my mom taking me to the store to buy stuff for a project due the next day. Even now, as they help me prepare for my life in college, I know they will continue to help me through every situation. Another huge thank you goes to all my block teachers, including Ms. Jensen, who welcomed me with open arms freshman year, Mr. Barber, who taught me how important it is to constantly learn about yourself and who you are, Ms. Burdick for teaching you never to apologize for being yourself, and Ms. Spencer, who pushed me to do better in every situation and supported me no matter what. I would also like to thank my all-time favorite librarian, Don Hanaka. You have truly been a best friend to me, and I don't know how I would have survived the past four years without you being so kind and helpful. Graduating during a pandemic has not been easy. But adjusting to unexpected changes and future unknowns is something we have learned to do well in the last 13 years of school. And at least we can say we graduated a little early. Despite everything, whether it's been too many assignments at once, stress, or social distancing, we made it through. And that is something to be proud of. We worked hard to get here. So congratulations, class of 2020. Now is the time for us to be who we want to be and conquer whatever life has in store for us. It's my pleasure to introduce CAPS valedictorian Anna Myers. Anna is the daughter of Gary and Amy Myers. She has a weighted GPA of 4.1. Her AP and college prep courses include AP Human Geography, AP English Literature, AP Psychology, AP Statistics, Pre-Calculus, and Anatomy and Physiology. Anna has earned many honors and awards. The highlights include Top 5%, CAP Student of the Month, and Academic Excellence. Anna is planning to attend Southern Oregon University. She will pursue a career as a NICU nurse or labor and delivery nurse, and later return to school for her master's degree. Anna Myers. Good evening, everyone. Although I'm very honored that I'm still able to be here and deliver you all my speech, I wish that all of you, my fellow classmates, could be here with me too. 
Thinking back to freshman year, I remember Mr. Epperson and Ms. Oppenheim constantly joking about how crazy our ties class was. And craziness is definitely nothing new to us. Who knew that our last day together in the classroom was going to be some random Thursday in March? There were times back in freshman year when I wondered how our class would ever make it to graduation. Well, look at us now. Here we are. And we have many people to thank for that. So I would like to thank all of the faculty members of Crater High School, especially those of CAPS. Personally, I feel as though Crater has adequately prepared me for my future through the multiple AP classes they offered that taught me what a college workload was like and the multiple extracurricular activities I was able to participate in that taught me time management skills. I know that many of us here have made very personal connections with all of the teachers, making them not just our teachers, but also our friends. All of the teachers that I've had the blessing of being taught by here were nothing less than compassionate and caring. And the lessons that we have learned from our teachers here will stem above and beyond the classroom and be useful for our entire lives. I also want to thank my wonderful and awesome parents. Whether it be a ride to soccer tryouts at 5 a.m., bringing me something from home that I accidentally left, or just someone to talk to, they were always there and willing to help no matter what. My parents have always pushed me to do my best, whether it be in school and in sports, and have developed me into the person that I am today. Without the support of my loving parents and the awesome teachers here, I would not have been able to accomplish all that I have, including being able to stand up here and talk to all of you. Now, to my fellow class of 2020 graduates, nothing could have prepared us for the loss of the most fun and exciting part of our senior year. It's not fair we didn't get a prom, or spring sports season, or even a normal graduation. However, I am extremely thankful that I got to go through the rest of this crazy journey called high school with all of you. And we should all be thankful for the memories, friendships, and accomplishments we managed to make over the other three and a half years. Before we part, I wanna leave you with a saying that I've used all throughout high school, in the classroom and on the field. It goes, if you believe, you can achieve. And now this sounds pretty familiar to most of my softball family, I bet. This is because I started saying this quote my freshman year during softball whenever my teammates would strike out or make an error, and it's just stuck with me ever since. I don't know who said it or where I came up with it, but I really think it's fitting for this graduating class that has experienced something so unexpected. My advice to you is to don't let the crazy and hard times in life hold you back from accomplishing your dreams. If you believe in yourself, you'll be able to accomplish anything that you set your heart and mind to. I know that this isn't the ending that any of us wanted, and I wish we could all be here celebrating with each other as we walk across the stage. But we should still be proud that we made it to graduation during a time when things were so uncertain. Our class will always be remembered, out, remembered throughout history for our strength and resilience. And as we all head off into different directions, I know that this class will leave a lasting impact wherever life takes each and every one of us. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, valedictorians. Uh, my name is Tom Rambo, and I serve as a principal of Crater Academy of Health and Public Service. And tonight, I have the honor of sharing with you some of the accomplishments of the Crater class of 2020. Uh, let me start with athletics. Uh, the Crater Comet athletic teams with leadership from this class have experienced much success even in this shortened year. This year's seniors were part of teams that won three conference titles, including girls cross country, volleyball, and football. This year's seniors helped bring home six state trophies, including boys and girls cross country, football, boys and girls basketball, and wrestling. In regards to extracurricular accomplishments, this year's class includes multiple seniors in debating in highly competitive world school debate at the National Speech Debate Tournament. In the class of 2020, Crater Deca had two state champions and four members of the 2020 team advance to compete for the state of Oregon in the International Career Development Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. One senior member of Deca is, for the first time in Crater history, a four-time international competitor. 
One senior of this class is a three-time international competitor. One senior in this class was the only high school student recognized as an emerging leader of the Rogue Valley Award. This class represented Crater Ultimate Frisbee as a varsity team within the Oregon High School Ultimate League. The academic, deaf, and hard of hearing Brain Bowl team made it to nationals, placing 16th in the country. Members of this graduating class anchored the mock trial team that placed third in the regional tournament. Crater FFA team placed silver in National Agriculture Mechanics, second place in District Extemporaneous Public Speaking, first place in Agri-Science, two teams placed at State in Veterinary Science, and six of our graduating seniors were state degree recipients. The Crater Class of 2020, through senior projects and internships, have, has raised and or donated thousands of dollars to local community organizations and community service projects. In addition, they completed thousands of hours of community service. In academics, Crater graduates have earned hundreds of college credits, including classes towards professional licensure and certifications. 49% of our graduating seniors have a GPA of 3.0 or above, and 8% of our graduates have earned a GPA of 4.0 or above. This is clearly a highly skilled and accomplished group of graduates. I would like to acknowledge those graduates who have earned special recognition for their academics, citizenship, or service. 156 seniors applied for scholarships through the Crater Foundation. All 156 seniors who applied were awarded scholarships. The Crater Foundation awarded $258,000 in scholarships to this year's seniors. It needs to be recognized that many of our graduates will be entering the United States Armed Forces and finally to recognize the salutatorians. Jamie Capello, Caps, Jacob Mimmett, Caps, Dawson Gerhardt, Crater Renaissance Academy, and Joshua Hamry, Business Innovation and Science. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Adrienne Hillman, Principal of Crater Renaissance Academy. Even though the graduates are the stars of tonight's ceremony, we know that none of them got here without the help and support of others. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Crater Campus seniors and the Crater Campus staffs to thank you for your support and your help. Usually, this is where I would ask each of these groups in the stands to stand up and be recognized. But given these circumstances, I hope you graduates will take time to applaud and thank these people from six feet away, of course, for the ways in which they helped you make it to this point in your education. Parents and guardians of the graduates, thank you. Grandparents and great-grandparents, thank you for all that you've done for your children. Elementary, middle, and high school staff members, thank you for years of service, support, and instruction. Our graduating seniors selected the following staff members to serve as their honor guard for tonight's ceremony. Armin Barrows, Frank Bertrand, Ed Easton, Don Hanaka, John Lohman, Kara Merritt, Karen Oppenheimer, Matthew Paradella, Mike Rogan, Carissa Spranger, and Brittany Zwern. Finally, of course, thank you graduates for showing us unique resilience during this time. We are inordinately proud of you. Next, please enjoy the national anthem performed by members of the Crater Choir under the direction of Shane Flock and well wishes from the District 6 school board members. The school board members include Cindy Tilly Case, Brett Moore, Kathy Salmon, Autumn Chadbourne, and Jolie Wallace. That will be followed by the introduction of each of our graduates. Thank you.
Congratulations to the Crater graduating class of 2020. This crisis has changed our plans, but it cannot stop your dreams. You are a one of a kind group that has had to deal with a significant amount of change in a short period of time. Your resilience will take you far. Have courage, stay strong. Great things are in store. Congratulations. Graduating from high school is such an accomplishment. We wish you the very best. This is just the start of an amazing future. There are so many great and wonderful things ahead of you. And now, presenting the Crater Graduating Class of 2020.